Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing my June book haul I've actually gotten quite a few books this month and I've purchased quite a bit of books for myself this month. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first books that I wanted to show you all came from Book of the Month because they did a sponsored video with me at the beginning of this month. And before we do jump into the books from Book of the Month, I just wanted to say a quick thing about Book of the Month. Recently, they've been getting some criticism from the book community about their lack of diversity among their monthly selections. And I definitely agree with the book community that Book of the Month can be doing a better job of being more inclusive with having more black authors and people of color as monthly selections. Recently, Book of the Month's CEO released a statement on Instagram that I can put right here. They have a very clear plan of action on how they're going to increase the number of black authors that they have as their selections every month. And they're also saying that they're going to be hiring more people of color on their staff as well. And the CEO said he takes full responsibility for all of the actions of Book of the Month recently, which I really appreciate when a company can acknowledge the fact that they can do better. And and I just I appreciate the fact that they have a very clear plan of action on what they plan on doing. And I'm definitely going to be holding them accountable to those changes that they want to put in place. And I am optimistic about the future of Book of the Month and I do want to see them do better and I'm happy to see that they're wanting to do better. But I will leave the link down below for that statement from the CEO if you want to check it out yourself. Five books that I got from them this month were really, really exciting ones. The first one was Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I did an entire reading vlog for this book and I just had so much fun reading this book this month. I also read One to Watch this month. You'll hear more about this in my wrap up. I am currently reading The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This is another one of their selections for June. And then we have The Last Flight, which is one that I'm hoping to read very soon. This one's an adult thriller. And then we have A Burning, which this one I didn't get a chance to get to this month, but this one also sounds really interesting and really intense. And I believe this one has LGBT representation in it. I'm pretty sure. However, um, we do need to talk about Book Sparks because unfortunately I'm no longer working with Book Sparks. I did receive quite a number of books from them this month, so I guess I'll still show you the books that I got from them, but this is the last book haul from Book Sparks that you're going to be seeing from me. The books that I received from Book Sparks this month is If You Must Know by Jamie Beck, and then we have We Came Here to Shine by Susie Orman Schnall. And then I have The Half-Sister by Sandy Jones. This one's a thriller that I'm actually kind of interested in, but I don't know. I haven't previously liked books from this author, so like, I'm kind of hesitant about it. And then we have A Spell for Trouble. And then we have The Lost Girls of Devon. And then lastly, we have Fast Girls, which I believe this one's like a historical fiction novel. And it's a novel of the 1936 Women's Olympic team. But yeah, I've decided to end my partnership with Booksworks because they've just been kind of like messy recently and the way that they've been responding to people just doesn't really sit right with me. They made a post saying that they have all of these spots open now for ambassadors and trying to make it sound like they are creating all these new spots for new ambassadors when in reality it's like ambassadors are dropping out of the ambassador program and that's why they have all these spots opening up. And then they also incorrectly used the word diverse in one of their posts because they were centering whiteness. The responses to what people were saying were just very unprofessional and like almost kind of like rude. And I don't know, I just, I no longer want to be associated with Book Sparks. I know like they've had some issues for a while apparently. I don't really like the way that they're responding in the comments. And so until I see some proof that they're like actively trying to do better, I just don't want to be associated with them anymore. So that's where I'm at with Book Sparks. Anyways, next up, Atria actually sent me three books this month, which like what? The first one they sent me is The Family Upstairs, which I didn't even know that they were sending this honestly and I feel like I've gotten so many copies of this book now and I just I didn't personally enjoy this one so maybe I'll just have to do a giveaway with this one or maybe I'll just give it away I don't know but they sent me this but then what I am so hyped about is they sent me Invisible Girl which this is Lisa Jewell's new thriller that's supposed to be coming out in October on the 13th. This is one that I'm very excited about. I'm thinking about doing a reading vlog style video with this book in July with a couple of other thrillers that I have that are arcs. So 
let me know your thoughts on that. And then I have Behind the Red Door by Megan Collins, which this is another thriller arc that I'm really looking forward to. This one goes on sale August 4th, and I really do want to read this one because I really enjoyed The Winter Sister from this author. I can't wait to read it. Maybe I'll include this one in the thriller arcs video too. And then next up from Celadon Books, I got The Shadows by Alex North, and this is another thriller arc. This one goes on sale in July, actually. And this is one of my most anticipated thrillers of the year. Like, I'm really looking forward to this one, so I think I would include this this one too. I think I just want to do like a video at the beginning of July that's like reading my thriller arcs that I have and then just make a whole reading vlog video of it. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. So let me know your thoughts on a video like that. And then the last book that I got sent this month was from my friend Molly. She is such an angel. I'll link her channel down below. But she was so kind enough to send me a book this month and she sent me six stories which this is one of the thrillers that I've been wanting to read for like ever. All I know about it is that it involves a podcast and it's like there's six different stories and you're trying to figure out what actually happened and there's like a dead teenage boy I think. Sounds amazing. I can't wait to read this. And then the last six books that I have in this haul are all books that I bought for myself this month. First three that I bought were all the books that I read for that video that I did at the beginning of this month of like reading TBR's recommendations for me. All three of these books got recommended to me on that website that's tailored book recommendations and they recommended me these three books, so I purchased them for myself this month. The last three books that I have are all books that I just recently purchased at Barnes & Noble because my Barnes & Noble is open again, and um, so I went and I got Take a Hint Danny Brown, I got You Deserve Each Other, and I got Felix Ever After. I got all of these with the intent of reading them this week during Romance-a-thon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to all three of these this week, but I have them. I have already read Take a Hint Danny Brown, and I freaking loved it, but you'll hear more about that in my Romance-a-thon vlog. Those are all of the books that I got in June and after this video my romance-a-thon vlogs will be the next video that I'm posting after this so you can look forward to those soon and thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!